up guys welcome back to the channel uh today i just got a uh pretty sweet camera review so when i started out this channel a recording i used my phone i used a dslr 3200 and recently i used a ghost stop uh phasm cam and uh phasm light combo and the last video that i did i had some comments in there saying that um, they wanted me to not do the purple color, which I had no control of that. That's just a full spectrum camera. That's what happens with that camera. With the uh, generous donations from you guys and also my lovely wife, we were able to come through and pick up the new camera we're going to be recording with. This is the Sony AX53, okay? And this is obviously 4K and it's going to make the videos in this a lot better. And uh, I'm really gonna hope making the content with this camera, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over from what I'm recording with now to this camera, so stay tuned. So this is the, like I said, Sony AX53. This is probably one of the best upgrades that I was able to get. I know I have a couple investigations coming up and they're just gonna look amazing with this. Uh, if you guys want me to go back to the abandoned building that I shot in this last video, please let me know. Uh, I'll go back and I'll reshoot it with this and we'll see if we can get some more footage there. Uh, I want to go ahead and try and demonstrate what the audio is going to sound like. Hopefully this is sounding pretty good. We're in a kind of an empty room right now. This is the ghost lab right now. This is the Rusty Nut Ghost Lab. Uh, like I said, we just moved into a new place, so I'm trying to get everything all set up. So that's why, obviously, the videos haven't been coming out like I want them to. Uh, but now that we're all settled and ready to rock and roll, we'll be able to push out more videos here. So we're going to do a sound quality test. We might even run a little spirit box session. So let's see what we can do here. One of the biggest reasons I got this camera was because of the availability with the night shot. Uh, the night shot in 4K, I should say. Uh, the handle that I was using from Ghost Stop with the Phasm cam and the Phasm light. Uh, that, that, that was a 4K camera also, but for some reason it felt pretty grainy to me. So, um, like I said, with this camera we're going to be able to produce a lot better quality content in the sense that the clearness and also the sound. The handheld Phasm camera that I had um, didn't offer the greatest quality of sound, I'll just say that. We were able to pick up the clear spirit box voices that were coming through, and uh, that's all that we were asking for in that video. So, um, we'll go ahead and switch it to Night Shot, and then uh, let's see how the sound quality is. We're gonna run a little spirit box session right now. So this is gonna be the Night Shot. This is gonna be the sole purpose for this camera, and I am so excited for this part. Um, like I said, when we got this camera, obviously, uh, we wanted to be able to produce 4K with great audio sound and obviously this night nice shot uh, I do have a couple extra uh, go ahead and see go ahead and turn one of these on really quick Just a little bit. Maybe it might be too much IR. Okay, so that's just the regular IR from the camera and then one of the phasm lights. So this might be probably what we're going to try to rock with right now. I know it's going to be weird. Um, go ahead and shut this one off and just rock it with the camera one right now. Yeah, we'll just do that. Alright, so we go put this over here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do some quality audio sound without the baby right here. This device I'm holding is an SB11 Spirit Box. And what it basically does is go through frequencies super fast. And spirits can actually manipulate the frequencies and actually use it to talk. And it's going so fast that you shouldn't be able to pick up any type of radio or any type of any, you know, radio interference or any of that nature. Though, sometimes it's questionable, it is a radio you are sometimes bound to pick up interference. So, if there's any spirits here who wants to try to talk with me, all you have to do is speak as loud, as clear as possible, and I can hear you through this box here. 
Right. Is, is anybody here who wants to try and talk with me right now? Tell me what your name is. Can you hear what I said? How old are you? Six? I mean, that's right. Maybe six or sixty. Alright, we'll have to review the footage here. Do you used to live here? Are you the lady who was living next door to us, who passed away about three weeks ago? You can tell me your name, it's okay. All you have to do is speak as loud as you can. Let's pull out a kitchen meter. Let's just see what we can do with this kitchen meter. Can you come up to me and talk to me? Okay. Another device I'm holding in my hand is it's a okay, it's, it, it's a meter that picks up your electromagnetic energy. The closer you get to me, the more it lights up. So if you want to come up and talk to me, let me know that you're here. I can see you through this. Okay. What is your name? Is it something? I'm not going to put the filters in that. Do you know where you're at? I'm at something. See, my, my PT meter just spiked, and I had a voice come through. So there's somebody here who wants to try to talk with me. Can you 
Can you speak louder for me, please? Yes. That was clear, too. I'm clearly speaking with somebody here. Where are you? In the back? No, I heard in the back. Yes? Holy crap. I'm going to have to do a full investigation here at night time. Can you set off my, can you set off my, numb, or my K2 meter one more time? Please? We have two voices coming to the box right now. So, this is weird. Just give me your first name, that's all I want to know. What is your first name? I oh, there was a name right there. I couldn't hear it. I'm so sorry, guys. Every time I want to hear a voice, I can't hear it. I'm really sorry. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and let you go, then, okay? It did? I heard that. It said it did. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to let you go now, okay? So that was a little demo of this camera. Uh, I'm not going to go into all the specs of this camera. Um, you can go on YouTube and you can watch a lot of videos on this camera and the specs. Um, like I said, this is going to be the new primary camera I'm going to be using to film. My, camera's, my cell phone is going to be one of the backup cameras and then my phasm cam is going to be another camera so I can kind of get more angles, more area coverage and this is going to be more of my handheld like what you kind of see what I see kind of a thing okay. So if you like this content um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please pass this around. Uh, we're, we're on the chase for 500. I want to try to get to 500 subscribers before March. That would be amazing. A very interesting spirit box session. There was a bunch of voices I didn't get to pick up on that I thought I heard. Um, we're going to have to go through and just take a look and see what we heard and uh, kind of just listen in. Uh, I did get a couple, it looked like I got a couple spikes on my K2 meter. I don't know if it was because I was close to this camera. I don't know if the camera's actually going to set it off. Let's just test that out right now really quick while I have it. So let's just see if this will set it off. Nothing here. So I'll go back and I'll review those footage to hear what those voices said. Um, like I said, with the K2 meter. The K2 meter picked up is really nice. I, I'm, I'm also trying to get my lighting better, guys. I'm really sorry that my lighting here is kind of shitty. Am I supposed to have it face on or not? I'll just figure this out as we go, okay? I'm not a professional. I didn't go to school for this. So, I can dim it down a little bit, maybe. Maybe that's what we gotta do. Maybe. Okay. But anyway, so like I said, guys, if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 500 subscribers before March. That would be huge. Um, also, my next investigation, I'm actually going to be doing it here. I had some unexplainable things happen here. Uh, my wife and my son had went to the store to get uh, dinner stuff before I went to work. And uh, there's a light above the shower that just turned on automatically. And I don't know how we did it. I jumped out of the shower, looked, no one was here. I went around the whole house, no one's here. Called my wife and said, hey, um, you know, what is the history on this house? And all she could tell me was, is there was our neighbor, because we live in a duplex, um, our neighbor on the other side of the wall uh, did pass away about three weeks ago. So I don't know if that has any correlation to what's happening here, other than the fact that you just never know. Um, maybe they want to come by and say hello. Uh, maybe the spirit needs help moving on. And if that's the case, we'll figure it out. We'll help them move on. And so uh, also another thing, if you guys want me to go back to the abandoned building I went to and do another investigation, leave a comment down below. That would be amazing. I want to know what you guys think. I might go back and give that another try, only if you guys want to see it. And then uh, also, if you guys want me to go ahead and return to the house where I captured all that other paranormal activity, uh, leave a comment down below also. Uh, 
I love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for helping me out. Your British Challenge channel is slowly building. Obviously, you can tell uh, we were able to upgrade our camera. We were able to get some more equipment. So, if you feel like donating to the channel, I'll leave my PayPal down in the description below. And uh, everything goes to helping out this channel, whether it's equipment, uh, traveling funds, so I can go and get more locations just for you guys. Okay. Uh, so, with that being said, and until next time.